G'day, I wanted to show you uh, my kitchen piping, hot and cold water and the wastage. Uh, it's all finished now, no more, no, more, no more pipes to connect, thank God for that. Um, so here we go, so there's a couple of things to keep in mind, I just wanted to, part to share or pass on with you guys. So here it is, so obviously there's water, uh, excuse the tape, my sealant's still drying. Um, so that's all installed, hot and cold water, bit of overkill, but basically ins extra insulation. Obviously when you're on corrugated roads, it's going to shake and move, so you just want to make sure that it doesn't cut through. Even though I've sanded the timber, extra cautious. Um, what do we got? Oh, the thing I like about this is basically, if you can, use the flow of the pipe. Uh, it's natural flow and it's plastic. Um, so that way you do less joins um, and you've got less chance of, of uh, having leaks. So this is all one piece that goes all the way underneath until I connected it, which I'll show you. Uh, same thing with this, just one piece. All right, so there you go. So I made a salad bowl, turned that into a sink. There's just a couple of, couple of pieces, it's all connected. Um, and drilling holes into the van, obviously, make sure you buy some anti-rust paint and you paint any exposed metal. Insulation again, and underneath, oh, hopefully, you guys can see this um we've got the uh, waste coming out so i've sicker flexed it again so it doesn't move when i'm driving um i've got an on and off valve for the hot and cold water to isolate it uh, from the kitchen in case i need to do that and then um i've got the uh the, the gray the uh, waste coming in and into my gray water tank which i can then just empty Connect the hose to that, or just open it up on, on the grass and let it go. All right, so that's done. Um, I can close this baby up.